Welcome to the Trader Reviews channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification and check mark the box so you won't miss anything on my channel. It's my life. It's my life. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Straight Up Reviews, baby. How is everybody out there doing today? Yeah, y'all, hope you guys been having a lot, a lot of great time, a lot, a lot of great weeks. I know I ain't done a video in some days because my fat ass has been busy. But yeah, we're going to do a, a um, Rap Snacks mukbang. If you guys don't know what Rap Snacks is. Now, Rap Snacks is an independent company, basically, you know, with their own, you know, potato chip brands right there. And I have been eating these things for about some time now because I remember I walked into a ghetto corner store and I found them and I was eating them at work you know what I'm saying and apparently these are worldwide in Walmart stores now and everywhere that you can actually go and that's good that you know we got you know our own you know uh, foundation of you know black owned you know businesses and companies putting their own products out there now now we got wrap snacks right here called uh, the fatty wop um, Jalapeno honey right there as you guys can see right here in my hand Then we got right here. We have the Migos White cheddar with a dab of ranch popcorn even though these guys claim that they're better than bone not nah. <laughs> Then we got right here that I had already been munching on well miss gamer glam munched on them and she gave me the rest So I wanted to show you guys actually in my video. We got the rest snacks Trina uh, Thot honeydew Cheese puffs right there. You know what I'm saying? No, they're not called thought honey puffs. They're called honeydew uh, cheese puffs right here. Then we got the, let me see, we got the wrap snacks. Ooh, we little yachty hot cheese fries right here. Whoa, these things is looking lovely. So yeah, so um, I just been chilling, y'all. Wanted to bring you guys a mukbang, um, you know, potato chip video. And, um, you know, to show you guys what these things are about. And, um, you know, we getting ready to have E3 get ready to come up, and I hope you guys are ready for that. And by the way, um, they say that a sports uh, person on you know the social media been going around. Nigga's playing baseball, football. I don't even know. He's wearing a hat of um, Black Ops Four logo. You know what I'm saying? So that could be a sign that Trey is getting ready to release Black Ops Four around November. So we already know that these. Games come out around November, all these Call of Duties, it's like, when they gonna stop? <coughs> oh, shoot. They never, never gonna stop. And, um, you know, that's probably gonna be, like, the first Call of Duty on the Switch, because I'm telling you guys, go ahead and play that Payday 2. Because I thought that game was gonna be, like, a crap game, like, on the Switch. It is not, y'all. It is very, very cool. It's very smooth. It's fun. But the only thing they need to do is basically just get that uh, voice chat working, because I've been playing it for, like, for about a whole week, but I haven't been playing it, you know, for the last two days, because like I said, y'all been, you know, dealing with them situations, trying to actually, um, you know, make the page better, and, you know, to be real with y'all, um, I'm going to tell you guys, I've been having some, you know, thoughts, you know, thoughts going on with my page, but before we get to it, we're going to open up these ooey little Yachty Hot cheese fries, I got to keep these away from Miss Gamer Glam, because she loves hot chips, and... If you was around her, big cookie head muffin herself, don't leave your chips while you sleep because you're going to wake up and your chips going to be gone. So let's take it out and see what we got. We got these little Cheetos right here. They like little mini cheese puffs. Mmm. Mmm. Watch. Let's see. If they're hot. Stop! Your little cooking arm in the way of my video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um. Ooh. These are babies. These taste like Andy's fries but in a little cheese puff. I like these because they have that, they have that, that little corner store urban taste. You know what I'm saying? And I like that too. You taste them? These are pretty, pretty good. Okay. I don't mm. like Andy's fries, so. I That's what it tastes like though. These yeah, are the hot Andy fries. But uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, these are called little Yachty's cheese fries right here. I'm going to show you guys inside of the bag. And I guarantee you, after this video, it's going to make you want to rush out and go get them too because I think you get them at Walmart. Uh, where'd you get them from, Miss Gavin Glenn? Ghetto corner store. The ghetto corner store right here, because you guys already know we live in the ghetto, shooting bullets everywhere. So you walk outside, you gonna get shot in your ass with a bullet, and that's not you know that's natural. You know, just go down the street, tell them take it out, stitch that shit up, and keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I've been noticing about you know my YouTube channel, you know revenue. It's been like 
my, my revenue's been disappearing. It's like, it goes up, and then it, some of the revenue goes away. I'm like, what is YouTube doing? YouTube is like actually like cheating people out their revenue or something. And I was telling this game, and I said, look at this. She's like, what is going on? Because I, I, I'm gonna be rich. I was at like, like uh, fifteen dollars, and it, it went down to like nine bucks. I was like, what the hell? And this goes to show you that YouTube is not the same. I mean, you don't want to get on YouTube just to make money, but it's something that you can do as a hobby to you know do you know doing things every day that you you know you know like, you know you, you you like to do. But and all, but it's something that you can put out there, good content, and also help these advertisers out here with the you know content that you produce every day but I don't know I feel like I'm being cheated you know so do I gotta go kick down the door like Ice Cube like straight out of Compton and whoop somebody in the damn YouTube office building smash all that shit up but now I'm just playing y'all let me let, let me say I'm playing cause I ain't trying to be like Logan Paul's dumbass cause he fucked it up for everybody y'all y'all give me a thumbs up he fucked up YouTube for everybody I mean single everybody but another thing y'all I think it's good though that a lot of these small creators gotta work work hard to get 4,000 um, hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers because I think it's good like that because for the simple fact is that it keeps all the crabby little roaches out from saturating YouTube with stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why my channel's been getting more exposure and the subscribers been going up because you know all the crabbies are like being weeded out slowly by slowly and they're not there no more so people can't go to the little crabby channels and be like oh yeah we like your channel blah 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 even though you're not really doing crap and jack shit you know what i'm saying so yeah but you guys already know i'm on here about to push it for you guys each and every dang day and uh like i said y'all um been working on some new music um actually i've been taking my time working on unique and dark part two so i put that on hold now i'm working on unique and dark 2.1 that's that's basically a continuation to part um one but this one's gonna have explicit lyrics in this one part two when it comes out the original part two is not gonna have no explicit lyrics because i want everybody to be able to hear that stuff and my boy uh, people lost i was like no no die cry you can't be doing it, it ain't die cry without cussing i'm about to show these people you could do hard music hardcore music without all the cussing you know what i'm saying it's my music and go ahead and check my soundcloud at the bottom because i put up the whole mixtape of uh unique and dark part one you can go listen to the tracks, you know what I'm saying? If you want a CD, it's got the you know CD link down there. You can you know purchase a copy of the Unique and Dark Part 1 CD on my eBay. I'm telling you guys, y'all better order it up. I got like 15 copies left before I actually, you know, be sold out for good. Because I don't know what I'm gonna put them back out. And so the ones y'all you know that haven't listened to it, y'all missing out. I'm telling y'all, when I do this music, I put my heart and soul in this shit. I ain't trying to be no Justin Timberlake and no Michael Jackson or no, you know, DJ Paul and all that or some little yachty out here. I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing me when I do the music. Okay, let's try these rap snacks, honey, jalapeno, fatty wop right here, right there. You know what I'm saying? If you smell it, you're gonna be, you, you're gonna have your eye like this. You gotta smell it like that. Woo! So yeah, I wonder what happened to Fatty Wop's side. Look like he was sleeping. Somebody just came and plucked his ass, plucked him in his eyeball, like pow! He's like, oh! <clears throat> so yeah, so uh, I haven't heard of Fatty Wop in a while. Did, was, was he like a one-hit wonder and then fell off? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I think he's a mumble rapper too. I don't know. I never really sat down and listened to a whole Fatty Wap album, y'all. So yeah, let's try these rap snacks right here. Mm. Mm. Let me see. These right here are like plain lace chips. And mm, mm, taste the jalapenos, jalapenos, whatever the hell it's called, and honey on them. They want to put everything with damn honey. You know what I'm saying? They got Cheetos with honey right here. The Cheetah thought the yeah, Trina, Thought Honey Do Cheetos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, I'm not gonna eat all these chips though. But you guys let me know in the comments about, you know, what type of games you guys are waiting for, what type of mu uh, movies, music, what you guys wanna see on the channel. Cause like I said, I'm here doing these videos for you guys. And what else are we gonna try? We got one more right here. Um, let's see, Rap Snaps, Mego, White Feather, with a dab of not Bone Thugs and Harmony right here. So yeah, I can't believe these guys right here think they is better than Bone Thugs and Harmony. They better get their mumbling rapid ass somewhere and go mumble some goddamn words and shit. I know that. Now let's see, white cheddar popcorn with a dab of ranch. Now, I can make this shit at home, y'all. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Like, I can get some white cheddar powder with all of my popcorn. 
and get some damn ranch and just put it all over my popcorn. And these are pretty pretty. I don't know. They are all right. I'm not really a fan of popcorn that much. But uh, y'all see Miss Game Game over here? Probably mess up my video, <laughs> messing with me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. Try that. But yeah, I love you guys out there. You guys, you know the Fat Boy Gamer, aka Extreme Blue Shirt, whatever the hell you want to call me. I, I got so many aliases. Oh, by the way, y'all need to try this fan of soda right here called Fruit Plus right there. You know, I love me some fan of soda. They got orange, peach, watermelon, chitlin flavor. You know what I'm saying? All kinds. Uh, pound cake flavor. Mm. Yeah. It's a little funky. I know, don't it? Yeah, all right, I don't like those. They, I don't like them that much. Yeah, okay. But like I said, y'all, rate, comment, subscribe to your boy. And y'all keep on getting it real raw with nothing cut. Don't let me bring it back real raw with nothing cut.